Hello there. Today's video is on Word 2010 and on table styles. So let's go ahead and start out by inserting a table. And uh, we'll choose one, sure, that big, why not? And uh, as you note, there are two new tabs up here. The Layout tab has one important thing I want you to notice, the Select Options. But I'm just going to be doing it by left-clicking in the bottom right cell, dragging the mouse up, and then let going of the left button on the uh, top cell, and that'll select the whole table. All right, so there's the option to uh, shade the boxes, which would color them in. And you can do that with just one box, so let's select just one. Uh, you can make them all different colors if you want to. That's always an option. For um, for the next thing I want to show off, though, we need actually a style. So let's uh, select the table, make sure you're in the table, and uh, we'll pick a uh, medium shading too. As you mouse over these different styles, it'll tell you what their names are. So this is medium shading too. There we go. And it's all right. It's pretty plain looking. There's some things you need to know. The uh, the first column is always called the first column. The uh, last column is always called the last column. The uh, bottom column is called the total, I'm sorry, the bottom row is called the total row. And the top row is always called the header row. So that's what these check marks are for. Whenever you, uh, oh, let's get back there. Whenever you uncheck that, it removes that differently colored row. Because it's going to assume that up here you're going to want to put labels for all of these things. And you'll probably want to put labels for all of these things as well. And if these things are being added up or totaled like their monthly sales figures, you're probably either going to add them up here or you're going to add them up down here. So it makes sense that you want to have these columns or rows differently colored than the center, the meat of the table. So that's when you uncheck the box header row, makes it a different design. Same way with first column, total row comes out different design. Last column can be a different design. As for the uh, the bandit rows, the bandit rows are what makes every different row a different color. So it makes it easier to read. Oh. So when I uncheck it, the whole table comes out as one color. When I check bandit columns, it makes every other column. So, you know, it just puts lines on it so it makes it easier to read and keep up with. And you can check both, but it comes out kind of weird. Um, so we're actually going to design our own table. So let's, uh, we can modify this table style, but uh, we're going to clear the table and we're going to make a new table style. And uh, at this point we need to name the table style, so let's drag this window down so you can read it. And of course what do we want to base it on? We can choose but obviously this is a table, so we're going to choose table there. Uh, and then we can base it on a current style. i just go with that. That's fine. And at this point, we need to start figuring out what colors we want to have. So we want the whole table to have a background of purple. And the text to be white. That's fine. Uh, we want the borders be just plain lines, but we want them to be, actually the borders would be, border colors would be right here. Make those yellow. Or let's make them white, just like the letters. Uh, we can also choose what the, uh, the shading of the cells are. So we can uh, choose the shading cells to be purple. This is the same effect as the text, the color behind the text winds up coloring in the same cells the same way. So it's two different ways of doing the same thing. And of course, what position the text takes in the cell, whether it's top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left of the cell, in the center. We'll go with center. Center's fine. At this point, we want to modify, uh, let's say, the header row. So we can make the header row um, Times New Roman. Uh, 14 point font, actually let's make it larger, 22 point font, bold. We will make the uh, background color yellow and uh, we'll make the borders nice and thick to outside borders. Mm. Let's clear the borders, no border outside border. 
There we go. That's better. Need to fix the text though. So uh, the text can be a nice dark color. So this is the uh, the text color. Sorry, I got that mixed up. Always get that mixed up. Always think it's the color behind the text, but it's the color of the text. All right. So now let's change the um, the total row at the bottom here the uh, total row and we'll make the total row similar times new roman uh, 26 font color nice dark color and then the uh, cells will actually be yellow and the border no border all borders all right, so the next thing that we need to do is uh, we can actually do, let's do the bandits, bands as well. So we'll do um, odd bandit rows. We will make that color and odd bandit colors will be that color. All right, well, that's significantly ugly I must admit uh, so let's uh, click uh, you can choose to only in this document or new documents based on this template of course there's also lots of other stuff that you can choose and I don't really have time to go through all this stuff because the video would be too long but you're welcome to play with it so uh, you can choose only this document or new documents based on this template so if this is a document you use repeatedly you can save it to apply this style to other documents as well so click OK now, uh, oh, I already have a table in there. There's the ugly style right there, technological. Let's uh, make a much larger table. Insert table. And then the style. And uh, we put a total row on there. And take off the bandit rows and put on the bandit columns. And there you go. So if I type some text in there, it comes out really large. If I type some text in there, it comes out kind of small. Text there is really large. So there's your new style. Uh, when you get tired of this style, click the drop down menu, right click on it, and you can either modify style or you can delete it. And yes, I want to delete that style. All right, so that's how you create a table style. Hopefully you've learned something from this and you'll make a much prettier table than I did. And uh, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?